Springtime is just around the corner. A time of warm sun and cool breezes. The smell of flowers blooming and fresh leaves. The sudden force of a billion atomic bombs ripping the flesh from your body as hellfire rains down. At least, this was the spring experienced by the very last of the non-avian dinosaurs. In 2008, at a site called Tanis, the first remains of this fatal final day were discovered. Tanis preserves the immediate aftermath of the KPG asteroid impact, including flash flood deposits, glass cooled from molten ejected debris, and even a fossil turtle impaled by a tree branch. By 2019, the discoveries at Tanis made for an astounding picture of the latest Cretaceous of North America, one that made international headlines. A mix of freshwater and saltwater fishes were found in the inland river deposit with glass particles stuck in their gills, their muscles tightened from suffocation. Shattered remains of almost every known dinosaur from that time were also preserved, including embryos, as well as flooded ant nests full of ants at impact debris. By comparing seasonal growth patterns in the fossilized paddlefish bones with those of their modern relatives, scientists determined that the dinosaurs met their untimely demise during their most vulnerable season, spring. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, our very own mammalian ancestors were gearing up for hibernation, which may have led to their overall survival and eventual domination.